Hello, guys. Hello. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. How are you today? Good. Good. Okay. So uh, I'm happy because be today is Thursday. <laughs> happy because today is Thursday, and you don't work on Friday. And I mean, you don't work on Fridays. No. Uh, because it's near Friday. <laughs> oh. Okay, it's near. Okay, very good. So you have a weekends off. You don't work on yes. weekends. Yes. Weekend off. Okay. So tell me, uh, do you have any internet connection problems? M me no, teacher. No. Okay. Some of your classmates were commenting in the group that they have some internet connection problems. So I hope that is not your case, guys. Okay. Um, no, so, in my case, no. No, okay, very good. No. So I hope the same for everybody here. Today is not raining. So I hope not to have the internet connection problems neither. Uh, tell me, did you finish the forums, the activities, and everything? Only, only yesterday, no, because the topic um, in the platform is the words alone. Okay. So you need to check it, maybe tonight after the class. Yes. Good evening, Anayasi. Did you fix your internet connection problems? Oh, I guess that she has trouble with the internet. Okay. So uh, let me tell you, Lourdes, that tonight you stay with me after the class, okay? Okay, teacher. All right. So I'm going to pass the attendance list. I only have four people who can't be able to be here tonight. So I hope the rest can incorporate later. Uh, Alfonso Antonio. Uh, let's see, Ana Yancy. It's here. Present. Okay. Uh, Cesar, Cesar Heriberto. Okay, Cesar, did you fix your internet problems? Um, no, teacher. Okay. Es, es inestable siempre. Okay. But you can, uh, if you can, you can practice, okay? Okay, thank you. Okay, uh, Dolores? Dolores? Present teachers. Okay, uh, Eduardo? Present. Eduardo, good to see you again. Let's see. Okay. Well, Okay, uh, Edwin, Edwin, you're here. Present teacher. Okay, Fidel. Fidel Cores. And Karina. Karina, we missed yesterday. We missed you yesterday, Karina. Yeah, I I I have uh, met, but it does it didn't for my work. It was about uh, wrestling federation. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. I am part of the directive, directive, uh -huh. judge, uh -huh. Uh -huh. and I, they have a lot of problems. Okay. <laughs> and other decisions and I didn't uh, finish early. Okay. So don't worry, you are here tonight and that's what it matters. 
Okay, uh, let's see Lourdes. Lourdes is here, right? Yes. Okay, Nelson, Nelson not here yet. Oscar not here yet. And Susie that has, in no, Susie no. She didn't mention anything in the chat. Alfonso, welcome. Okay. So we are going to start now, guys. Let me share my screen with you. And this is basically what we have for tonight. Okay, this is going to be a easy topic, I guess. Okay, because it is an introduction of new vocabulary. Okay, I don't know if you have heard this expression before. It's not allowed. Did you hear about this before? How to use it's not allowed. No, teacher. It's the first time. It's the first time, okay. What about yeah. you, Edwin? It's not allowed. First time, teacher. Never in the life. Never. <laughs> okay. So this in Spanish, um, it's like, no está permitido, okay? No está permitido, okay? No está permitido. So in this case, it's about uh, prohibitions, you know, prohibitions in your workplaces. This is going to be the topic for tonight's session. And I hope that you can memorize the new vocabulary. But before we start, as usual, we are going to remember what we checked in the previous class. Okay, I'm going to request the participation of four students. The first student that I choose is Edwin. Can you please complete the first sentence in your own words? Sorry, teacher. Can you tell me uh, what you learned from the previous class? You, you say previous one class. thing, uh -huh. you say the, the expression here. One thing I learned last class is, okay. and you tell me. Uh -huh. mm, maybe uh, there are, there is, and uh -huh. question are there. Is there? Uh, ubication, uh, no, ¿cómo sería? Location. Location. Uh -huh. Location. Eh, lo otro lo voy a decir en español que ahorita estando perdido. Lo siento, que estoy <risa> okay. concentrado en el trabajo. Este, eh, también cómo dar indicaciones a la persona para que llegue a un lugar. Uh -huh. Instructions. 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 Okay, thank you very much, Edwin. Thank you. Hey, uh, let's see, Lourdes, help me with the number two. Read the complete sentence and give the, the complement with your own words. Uh, these are some examples. Uh -huh. ah, these are some examples of how to give instructions for keeping safety at work. Um, use a helmet. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. um, walk uh, on yellow lines. Uh -huh. um, and um, Use the, the, the shoes, the comfortable shoes in this place. Okay, very good. Thank you, Lourdes. Thank you. And the next person, uh, Dolores, can you help me with the number three, please? Dolores? Lo siento, teacher. Eh, voy aquí manejando. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. 
Let's Gracias. see, Alfonso, are you okay tonight? No? So, Ana Yancy, can you help me with the vocabulary that you learned in the last class? I'm sorry, teacher, no, no entiendo. The, the new vocabulary. ¿Alguna palabrita nueva que se le haya quedado de la clase pasada? Uh, solo la de there are, there is a uh, show. Ah, okay. Thank you, Ana Yancy. Thank you. Katia, what about you? Teacher, I'm here, but now I'm working. Oh, don't worry, don't worry. Okay. So uh, let me see another another person. Maybe Lourdes, can you help me again with this one, with the vocabulary? Um, for me, new vocabulary, new vocabulary. I <laughs> still ah, the language vocabulary. Uh -huh. Is helmet. Uh, other uh, uh, stage safety. Okay. Uh, um, only. Only that. Okay. Uh, yes. Okay. Thank you, Lourdes. What about you, Fidel? Fidel Coreas, can you tell me uh, what can you do in case of a fire in your workplace? Fidel, not here. Okay, Karina, you weren't here the last class, right? But um, can you tell me what actions can you take or can you do in order to face a fire in your workplace? What would you do? Okay, first uh, we need to stay be painting mm -hmm. and then uh, focus the the fire the fire I don't know okay um, what about keep calm mantener la calma uh -huh. keep, keep calm, calm. Keep calm. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. okay first we need to feel or stay calm uh -huh. Then to focus um, on the mm -hmm. okay, um, and on to react with your co-workers and and bring your help and run <laughs> and run. To no, run. no, run. <laughs> to, to move faster. Okay, <laughs> what about calling the firefighters? The firefighters. The call. firefighters. Uh -huh. Call the firefighters. Yes. Mm -hmm. Are very necessary. A los bombers. Ah, call, call. Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah, it's the first two. It's necessary. Thank okay. You. Thank you, Karina. Thank you, guys, for your participation. So uh, let's see. We can continue with the next question that we have for tonight. And in this case, we have, as you can see in the screen, uh, let's see. Anayansi, can you help me reading the, the questions, please? Uh, what? Are some ruler in your company? Do you no me la de más letras, teacher? Okay, do you think? Do you think it 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 is important to follow ruler? Why? Okay, thank you, Anayansi. So what do you think? I need uh, three participations. We are going to discuss these questions. Vamos a discutir estas preguntas, okay? Uh -huh. who, can, who can tell me the rules in your company? Hmm? Mm. No orders? In my company, uh, maybe... 
stay at work on time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, other uh, the uh, respect the the schedule in in labor hours. The schedule. A schedule, a schedule, a schedule, um, and the other uh, maybe um, complete. Okay, fulfill, 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 uh, the the um, the roles in the company. Okay, or you can say follow the rules. Ah, follow the rules. Uh -huh, follow the rules. Okay, and now, okay. Uh, Lourdes, do you think it is important to follow the rules in your company? And why? Yes, because uh, the rules uh, give a, a, a good climate in, in my work. Uh, if you don't... Um, if you don't respect the rules uh, in, in the office uh, the the climate uh, will will be bad because um, the rules help the 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 relationship in the boss and co-workers and and help um, to to enfocar focus, focus uh, uh -huh. to to focus in in what uh, activities do you do oh you do you, you do, do you do, do in in the company and in what activities you don't uh, do? do in in the company okay perfect thank you lourdes thank you, uh, thank you can so you much. please can you please lourdes help me and ask the question to another classmate please okay um edwin are you here yes okay in your company what are some rules uh, okay and my company is not smoking, no drug, uh, not uh, drink, drinking, mm -hmm. okay. or uh, this, this uh, uh, drug test and drinking test. Oh, you have the drinking test in your yeah. company. Really? Yeah. And really. the drug test. You do the number four. No? <laughs> <laughs> no? <laughs> no? Or you have the, the, the thing that they put inside your mouth, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anti-doping. Anti-doping. That is anti -doping. <laughs> Okay. Anti -doping. So your work is a serious work. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's very delicate. Oh, okay. Yeah. But it's a national company. It's a national company. No, international. Is a uh, company is uh, the company is a uh, Guatemalteca. Oh, from Guatemala. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Wow, it's interesting. So, in your case, do you consider it's important to follow the rules? Yes or no? Yes, teacher. And uh, what, what happens when you don't follow a rule? Because uh, for concentrate uh, in the work and uh, for a, uh, como es una empresa de transporte, sorry, mm -hmm. it's, transport it's a transportation company, company. Tra mm -hmm. transportation company, mm -hmm. is 
important, uh, no drink, no drug, and no smoke for, uh, for pen, pendent es pendiente, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Pendent. Pendiente. Pendent. Uh, and the walk. Okay. Thank you, Edwin. Can you ask you. these questions to another classmate here? Okay, teacher. Vamos a ver. El que no le esté viendo, a ese elíjalo. O el que tenga la cámara apagada, a ese elíjalo. Estoy, estoy con el teléfono, no puedo ver, solo el que habla. Okay, este, a Karina. Karina, ok. Go ahead, Karina. Eh, fue la you... primera que me apareció ahí. En la, eh. Ok. Eh, what are some rules in your company, Karina? Ok. Eh... The most important is to respect your co-workers, um, to make a good cli climate mm -hmm. for work. Uh, don't drink, don't, don't drink al alcohol, mm -hmm. <laughs> don't, don't smoke uh, inside of the office. Um, sometimes, Sometimes because they are a little bit flexible mm -hmm. <laughs> to the um, uh, dress code. Ah, uh -huh. uh, from Monday to to Friday, Wednesday. Ah, okay. Wednesday. Uh -huh. Tuesday. Uh, no. Uh -huh. Thursday. Today is Thursday. Thursday. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Today. <laughs> Uh, it's a formal close, mm -hmm. but on Friday uh, you can use you can wear uh, jeans and casual. Casual, uh -huh. casual. Okay. So you you don't wear a uniform, do you? No, I don't use uniform. I don't wear uniform, mm -hmm. but I need to use a formal clothes. Mm -hmm. You have to wear formal clothes, okay? So it is important to follow these rules, Karina. What happens with the people that don't follow the rules? Uh, first, the boss uh, talking, <laughs> okay. uh, follow the rules, mm -hmm. and then to receive uh, if if is frequently, uh, you receive um. Um, um, amonestation, amonestation, uh -huh. uh, uh, writing it. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Karina. Thank you for your participation. I have a question and well, this question is to, to anyone who wants to answer. Uh, do you consider that responsibility is important at work? Yes. yes, it's very important. Okay. Imagine this situation. What happens when you are working and you are the boss? Let's suppose that you are the boss. Then you have four employees. Two employees are your best friends, but two employees aren't your best friends. So you, you go to your best friends and you allow them to break the rules. So the other two employees just pay attention to that situation and they wonder what's going on. Do you consider that that is okay in a workplace? No. It's not okay? Why? Because if, if I if I be is correct if, if I, I if I am a boss mm -hmm. uh, I should be in, impartial mm -hmm. uh, and not subjective because uh, the my, my best friends um, in the work are my co-workers and the the relationship it shouldn't 
eh, afectar affect affect eh, the the work or or their jobs eh, because the behavior should be correct always always it doesn't yes. matter if it is your friend if it is not your friend right you need to follow the rules yes right yes yes because uh, we are in the work uh -huh. Uh -huh. it's like when people say something like de la puerta para afuera somos cheroba pero de la puerta para adentro yo soy tu jefe y vos sos mi empleado verdad Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, very good. So let's continue uh, with the next activity. And today we have a conversation. And the conversation it's about uh, let let's check what it's about this. But before you tell me what what is this about, uh, who can describe the picture? Who can describe the picture for me? What can you see in the picture? Me? Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead, Karina. Okay, the picture, you can see a woman that looks like a, a boss. Um, um, the other person is a man, he's a co-worker, and he sits down in front of the computer and working. And working, okay. And what do you think the woman is telling that man? Probably uh, he make a report and the boss says, please bring me the report, Erwin. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Thank you, Karina, thank you. So I'm going to read the conversation, guys, but before I need you to tell me, what are the expressions that you can see that there are in bold, bold letter, las letras en negrita? What do, what do they say? It's not allowed. It's not allowed. Allowed. Uh -huh. It's not allowed. Uh -huh. It's not allowed. Okay. Pueden decirlo así, it is not allowed. Pero para sonar un poquito más fluidos, podríamos decir, it's not allowed. It's not allowed. It's not allowed. O sea, contractado. El it uh -huh. is, it's not allowed. It's Hay otros que dicen, it isn't. It isn't allowed. Uh -huh. Okay? That is Contra optional. Uh -huh. That is optional. But you need to pronounce well, allowed. 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 Uh -huh. allowed. I remember that when I was studying English, this word I pronounced it like allowed. It. Allowed. Mm. Cuando yo estaba estudiando inglés así la pronunciaba, allowed. Allowed. <laughs> uh -huh. Pero se trata de corregir esa pequeño detalle. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So the conversation is between Sandra and Mr. C. Okay, Sandra and Mr. C. Uh, let's see. Pay attention, please. Good morning, Mr. C. I want to know about the procedures, listen, procedures with the new employee. Well, it cannot continue with us. I see. Is it because of what happened? Yes, he was caught smoking inside the company and it is not allowed. I understand. He knew the values of our company, so there is no excuse. And also, it is not allowed to sleep in work hours. You are right. It is also not it is also not allowed to use the cell phone in work hours. Imagine that. Imagine that, thanks. Using the cell phone in working hours. Do you have co-workers that use the cell phone in work hours? Yes or no? Yes. 
Don't give me the names. Just say yes or no. <laughs> yes, but in my company, it's allowed. Ah, it's allowed. The opposite. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. But uh, it depends uh, for the cada quien. Mm -hmm. It depends uh -huh. on everyone. Mm -hmm. Yes, because you you should eh, cumplir, siempre se me olvida cómo se dice, eh, cumplir, fulfill, fulfill, eh, with the with the activities in in the day. Okay, so mm -hmm. no problem with using the cell phone. What about you, Ana Yancy? No. Can you use the cell phone in your workplace? The cell phone in the workplace? Yeah. You can no use problem. it. No problem. Okay, no problem. Very good. Un trabajo así quiero yo, fíjense. Donde puedo usar el cell phone. <laughs> ya se imaginan que yo aquí así. Y ustedes hablando, pues sí. Y entonces, no. Okay. <laughs> okay, very good. Very good. So, we are going to practice this conversation, okay? And... Do you have any question about the vocabulary here before we continue? What, what is the meaning? <coughs> Procedure, procedures. 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 Procedimientos. Procedimientos. Procedures. Mm -hmm. Okay. Another one? No? Edwin, are we okay? Teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. What is the meaning cough or cough? Uh -huh. Code. Code, Code. is the Code. past tense. Is the past tense of catch. El pasado participio de catch. El verbo atrapar o agarrar. Mm. Uh -huh. Si yo digo acá, he was caught smoking. Fue encontrado o fue atrapado ahí con las manos en la masa. <laughs> yes. It's smoking. Uh -huh. Ok. Smoking. Thank you. Uh -huh. Ok. Pasado participio de catch. Ok. So, if we have no question, yes, tell me. No? Ok. So, after we practice the conversation, we are going to answer these questions in the groups. Okay? Number one, what are some rules in Sandra's company? Number two, what is the problem with the new employee? And number three, are these rules similar to your companies? How? ¿Se parecen estas reglas a las reglas que tienen ustedes en sus empresas? ¿Y qué se parecen? ¿Ok? So, these are the, the two activities that we are going to start working on it. Eh, can we continue or do you need to take a screenshot? No? No, teacher. Ok. If you have the book, you can use the book. And please, yes. practice. Practice. Don't talk about another things. Okay. Just practice. Okay. Let's see. I'm going to send you to the virtual. Uh, I mean to the breakout rooms. Five. Let's go. Guys, please join the breakup rooms, please. It's for practicing. Don't be shy. Okay? Let's join the breakup rooms. Go ahead. Go ahead, Alfonso. Katia. Katia, Alfonso, and who's the other person? Nelson. 
Please, let's join the breakout rooms. Hello, Fidel, are you there? Can we practice? Hello. Fidel? Hello, can we practice? Uh, here, I only. Uh -huh. you, you don't have the other classmate. Give me a second. I'm going to send you to another. Uh, let me see. I'm going to send you to, to room number three. Okay. me so there is no excuse and also it is not allowed to sleep in work hours you are right it is also not allowed to use the cell phone in work hours okay uh, welcome fidel welcome uh, <laughs> we practice the conversation. Okay. Uh, you are Mr. C. O Cia. Um, no sé si Anayansi o yo so quiere ser usted Sandra, Anayansi. Ajá, hoy voy a ser Sandra. Vaya. Okay, listen, my, my recommendation. My recommendation. First, Anayansi and Fidel. And mm -hmm. then Lourdes and Fidel, okay? okay. Or Lourdes and Anayansi, okay? Okay, ya practicamos con Anayansi primero y ah, va okay. entonces. Uh, ajá. Anayansi with Fidel. Ajá. Okay, go, go ahead. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Good morning, Sofia. I want to know about the process. Primera is the first is a. Uh, how many rules or okay, what rules are in Sandra's company? Uh, I think uh, the first is uh, smoke is not allowed in some of the work. Uh, smoke is not allowed inside. Smoke, uh, sleep. And I sleep, uh -huh. sleep, sleep. And work hours and cell phone. And your cell phone. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sleep. Sleep in all in work hours. And work hours. Okay. It's not allowed. Smoking. Okay. Okay, the, the second question is what is what is the problem with the new employee? The problem with the new employee. Um, okay, in this case, the principal problem is he don't follow the rules. Uh, he break a rules. Yeah. Oh, he broken. He broke a rules. Broke. 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 Uh -huh. The past tense. He broke the rules. Uh -huh. And you say he broke the rules in the company? For example, and you give the examples, the, the rules that he broke. Okay, he broke the rules in the company at first. He smoke, 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 smoking. <laughs> smoke. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. smoke. He smoke, smoke, <laughs> so he smoke.
teacher. Yes, tell me. Uh, when you when you say no use the cell phone is correct or don't use the cell phone. Okay. Uh, here you say it is also mm -hmm. not allowed to use the cell phone. To use the cell phone is infinity. Yes. So if you use that, you say uh, not to use the cell phone. Not ah, to use the okay. cell phone. That is one, one form. Another mm. form is don't use the cell phone. Uh, the both forms. Mm -hmm. Both of them are okay. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Vaya, la siguiente. What, what is the problem with the new employee? He he don't knew the values of his company. No, he, he didn't know. He didn't know. Uh, uh -huh. Okay. He didn't okay. Know. Okay. He didn't. Mm. He didn't know. Um. He didn't know the values of his company. He was caught in smoking. Uh -huh. Ajá. Ajá, y que fue encontrado fumando. Is the problem uh -huh. with the new client. Ajá. Uh -huh. Entonces pongámosle he, he, he was caught of a caught o coat he, he was he was coat no. smoking ah okay coat smoking coat. inside the company, company. Uh -huh. esta palabra el verbo el coat lo podemos relacionar con la palabra restaurante restaurante entonces no decimos restaurant, sino decimos restaurant, restaurant. como con una O, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. O sea que la unión oh. de la A con la U suena como una O. Lo mismo oh. pasa uh -huh. en, en la palabra de hija, daughter, uh -huh. así se escribe, ¿verdad? Daughter, uh -huh. pero no se dice daughter, se dice daughter, daughter. Uh -huh. Ajá, lo mismo pasa acá, coat. Igual en because. Ajá, también. Because. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Because, uh -huh. Ah, ok. Nueva tips, regla para mí. Tips de pronunciación. <laughs> yes. Okay. Very. Thank you, teacher. Continue. Ok. And the last question. Are... Oh. Oh, ok. Now you change the rules. The, the, the role, sorry. Ok. With, with <laughs> Está bien. Hello, okay. Dolores. You are at home. Hello, ya llegamos Thank a casita. Ya. Yeah. Ok. <laughs> ok. Eso es bueno. Ok. Vaya. Este. Invertimos los papeles, ¿verdad? <laughs> Edwin. ¿Alguien? Sigan, sigan. Ah, okay. Solo me avisan para cuando lo mueva. Ok. Ah, ok. Ok. okay. Good, good morning, miss, Mr. C. I want to know about the, the produce with the new employee. Karina, well, Karina, sorry for interrupting. Procedures. Yeah. Procedures. 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 Yes. <laughs> Procedures. 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 Uh -huh. Procedures. Okay. Procedures. Okay. Continue. Sorry. Okay. Good morning. Good morning. I want to know about the procedures with the new employee. Well, he cannot continue with us. I see. It is because of what happened what happened yes he was counts smoking inside the company 
And it is not allowed. I understand. He, he knew the value of our company, so there is no excuse. And also, it is not allowed to sleep in work hours. You are right. It is also not allowed to use the cell phone in work hours. Okay. Okay, listen. The pronunciation for the word is, it is not allowed. It is allowed. not allowed. Uh, it's not it allowed. Is not allowed. Uh, it's not allowed. Uh -huh. It's not allowed. No está permitido. Uh -huh. Usar el teléfono en horas laborales. Ajá, exacto. Do you use the cell phone in the work hours, Dolores? No? Yes. You use it. <laughs> okay. Yes. No, the cell phone is part of my work. <laughs> ah, okay. In that case, so I can say the computer is a is allowed to use in my work because it is part of my work, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, very good. So we, we finish the, the questions. Uh, we we finish the, the last one. Okay. You finish, yes? Uh, almost. <laughs> almost. <laughs> we are in the second. Que yo llegué y este, me, le dije que venía. <laughs> Ellos me dieron el chance de que practicara la conversación. Ok, ok. Sí, de eso se trata, ok. So, uh, you, can, you can finish this. I'm going to give you two or three more minutes to finish, ok? Ok. Ok. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Uh, not work hours. For example, uh, sometimes my co-workers uh, call me at 7 a.m. and I I must uh, answer the, the, the call because uh, he he uh, we we coordinate with sales routes and in other uh, activities that uh, they need uh, help que yo les ayude <laughs> que yo les ayude a, a coordinar verdad entonces es un poco estresante lo siento ticha pero hemos tratado de hablar inglés <laughs> pero cuando ya no no, good job, good job. Good it's job. difficult. It's difficult because I need more vocabulary. Uh -huh. So, what do you have to do? What do you have to do in order to learn new vocabulary? ¿Qué vamos a hacer entonces para aprender más vocabulary? Eh, I... Study, view the 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 listen movies. Ajá, uh -huh, listen to music. Uh, in my case, I download uh, the Duolingo app. Uh -huh. That's a good option. And also, yes. you, you can practice here in the class, in the breakup rooms with your classmates, like yes. you are doing it right now. Como lo estamos haciendo ahorita. Huh? Yes. Okay. Yes. You need to try. I can intent that. Okay. <laughs> so, you finish the activity. Yes. 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 Okay. Very good. We are going to uh, stop then. Hasta aquí era, ¿verdad, teacher? Ajá, uh -huh. yes. Ok, ok. Gracias.
Okie dokie. So as everybody is here, I'm going to ask for volunteers to role play the conversation. Maybe the first volunteers uh, are Lourdes and Fidel. Yes. Okay, go ahead guys, please. Okay. Uh, I am Sandra. I am Mr. C. Okay. Good morning, Mr. C. I want to know about the procedures with the new employee. Well, he cannot continue with us. I see. Is it because of what happened? Yes. He was caught smoking inside the company and it is not all allowed. I understand. He knew the values of our company, so there is no excuse. And also, it is not allowed to sleep in work hours. You are right. It is also not allowed to use the cell phone in work, uh, in work hours. Okay, thank you. Thank you, guys. So, uh, remember, the, the expression is, it is not not like an A, como que fuera una A, una pequeña A, ¿verdad? It is not allowed, allowed. 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 Ya que las dos O en ese caso se convierten como en una semi A. ¿Ok? Allowed. Uh, it is not allowed. Allowed. Uh -huh. It, it is, is not allowed. allowed. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Good job. Karina and Edwin. Ok, Karina. Okay. Okay. You start, Karina. <laughs> okay. Good morning, Mr. C. I want to know about the procedures with the new employee. Well, he cannot continue with you. I see it is because of what happened. Yes, he was caught smoking inside the company. Uh, it is not allowed. I understand. He he knew the values of our company, so there is no excuse. And also, it is not allowed to sleep in work hours. You are right. It is also not allowed to use the cell phone in work hours. Okay, thank you very much. Just one observation. Here it's us. Us. Us, okay, us. Thank you very much. So uh, let's see, Anna Yancy, can you please answer the question number one? What are some rules in Sandra's company? Uh, what are some rules in Sandra's company? Mm -hmm. No use cell phone, cell phone in work hours. Mm -hmm. Only one. Only one. Thank you, Anna Yancy. Thank you. Uh, number two goes to Dolores. What is the problem with the new employee? Dolores? Are you there? Yes, yes. Go ahead. The problem is he was smoking in your work okay he was he was smoking he was. in his his, his job his mm -hmm. his okay his okay thank you and number three goes to fidel can you help me with number three are these rules similar to your companies uh. In my company, the ruler similar is the no smoking inside the company and no sleeping okay. in work hours. Okay, okay, very uh, good. While they use the cell phone, my company is important. Oh, okay. Because I am a credit advisor, I need to call with the Clients. Mm -hmm. Very interesting, Fidel. Thank you very much. Okay. Now, now 
we are going to continue, but before we continue with the next one, I'm going to pass the attendances. I want to say that it's really important, guys, that you stay in the class, but remember, you need to turn on your camera. Because when I say, for example, Edwin, can you please answer? Edwin is not there. Maybe he, he only goes online, but he turns on the microphone and the camera is off. So I don't know if Edwin is there, okay? So I need your participation, okay? Your participation, okay? We are in the, in the middle of the course. It's two more weeks and we finish, okay? So I, I invite you to participate in class and don't miss classes. Tampoco faltemos mucho a clases porque nos puede afectar, okay? Eh, o en caso de que alguien tenga, digamos, una reunión o algo, pues hacerlo saber ahí en el grupo para que los compañeros de inglés corporativo pues vean por qué eh, se han ausentado, ¿ok? So, let's see, Alfonso. Not here. Ana Yancy. Present. Eh, César. César. Um, let's see, Dolores. Present. Edwin. Present, teacher. Fidel. Present. Karina. Present. Katia. Lourdes. Teacher eh, Nelson Oscar, and... okay, Oscar, not here, and Susana, not here. Okay, so we continue with the today's topic the use, uh, how to use it's not allowed. Cuando vamos a usar el it's not allowed. Eh, let's see. Lourdes, can you help me reading the definition or the rule for it's not allowed? Yes. Okay, go ahead. Um, have to use it is not allowed. Use it's not allowed to talk about prohibitions that we have in a particular place. Okay, thank you. So, prohibitions, right? Prohibitions. That is the word it's not allowed. A synonym is prohibitions, okay? And well, we have here several examples. Karina, can you help me read the examples from one to three, please? Okay. Mm -hmm. It's not allowed to smoke inside the facilities. It is not allowed to take tools home. It is not allowed to drink alcoholic beverage beverage mm -hmm. thank you karina so as you can see in the first three examples these are rules son como reglas prácticamente no está permitido fumar dentro de las instalaciones no está permitido eh, llevarse las herramientas a casa ok no está permitido beber este, ¿qué? bebidas alcohólicas. Okay? So these are rules. And it is not allowed is always in the present. In this case, it's in the present. Aquí está en presente. It is not allowed. No está permitido. A pesar de que alguien me, alguien me puede decir, teacher, pero yo veo que acá está el ED. Ok. But this is something that we call the passive voice. Es algo que llamamos la voz pasiva. Y pues en este contexto de nota prohibición, yo puedo usar it is not allowed y la estructura sería it, why. ¿Por qué uso el it? Ah, who can tell me? Why do I use the subject it? ¿Por qué usamos el sujeto it en este caso? Because it's general. 
Mm -hmm. It's general and because we are speaking about actions, privations, mm -hmm. right? Actions. Mm -hmm. Yo puedo decir también a Karina no se le permite eh, llegar tarde a clases. Puedo decir, Karina is not allowed to arrive late to class. Ahí porque ya estoy especificando que la, la prohibición va para una persona. ¿sí? Aquí la estamos viendo para cosas, para acciones. Por lo tanto, yo uso el it. It is not allowed, ¿ok? Pero sí también lo puedo usar para referirme a una persona directamente. Ok, uh, Edwin, can you help me reading the next uh, three examples, please? Ok, uh, it is not allowed to use cell phone. Mm -hmm. It is not allowed to take to home. Uh, no, th this one. No. It is not allowed here. Ah, ah. It is not allowed to sleep in working hours. Mm -hmm. It is not allowed to ru running any area of the company. Okay. <laughs> imagine, imagine you running in the company, guys. Ya se imaginan <laughs> corriendo en toda la empresa. <laughs> in en terremoto. <risas> ah, en terremoto, tal vez, o cuando le están pidiendo el reporte o algún informe, ahí sí va, pero de lo contrario, it's not allowed, ¿ok? Eh, ¿Do you have any questions about the use of it's not allowed? Preguntas, quejas, comentarios. Eh, ajá. ¿No? El, el verbo que se usa... Eh, yo me fijo que como que la estructura es después de al lado siempre tenemos que poner to sleep, to use uh -huh. eh, siempre con el tú ¿verdad? Ajá, en el infinitive ok uh -huh. infinitive, it's not allowed to sí, siempre va a ir así it's not allowed to y el verbo oh. va a ir en presente uh -huh. Uh -huh. el siguiente verbo que va después del allowed okay. incluso si estoy hablando de la tercera persona ajá uh -huh. Incluso si está hablando de la tercera persona. A donde sí le va a cambiar es aquí. Usted eh, ya no va a decir it para referirse a la teacher. Ajá. Sino que va a decir the sí. teacher uh -huh. is not allowed to speak Spanish in classes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You see? The teacher, right? Uh -huh. Or she uh -huh. is not allowed to speak Spanish in classes. Uh -huh. Solo Only el sujeto también. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Only the subject. Singular. What happens when the subject is plural? ¿Qué pasaría si el sujeto es plural? ¿Cómo me quedaría algún ejemplo ahí? Digamos que quiero usar el sujeto a ellos. A ellos no se les permite llegar tarde a clases. They, they are yeah. not allowed. Mm -hmm. They are not allowed to, to arrive. Mm -hmm. To arrive late, uh -huh. a classes, to classes. To classes. Okay, uh -huh. así quedaría. Uh -huh. Do you understand, guys? Yes. Okay, another question. Hablen ahora o callen para siempre. Porque ya mañana es el primer examen. <laughs> el examen del midterm. ¿Y el examen siempre va a ser en la plataforma o va a ser así como estamos? No, en la plataforma está. Ah, uh -huh. ok. En la plataforma. Y ya me, ya me comentaron que ya corrigieron los errores de, de, de un quiz que estaba dando problemas. Uh -huh. Ajá, uh -huh. ya, ya los corrigieron, me dijeron ahí. Ah, ok. okay. Así si, si se encuentran o se topan ahí, ¿verdad? Con alguna otra cosita, avísenme para yo reportarlo. Ok. Ok. Ok, no questions about this. No? Okay. So in this case, guys, we have uh, the do's and the don'ts. Have you heard these two words before? Do's and don'ts. Basic do's and don'ts for employees to prevent workplace violence. This is an example. So one example. Okay. Uh, do's and don'ts. Las cosas que están bien hacer y las cosas que no están bien hacer. Okay. Se abrevia de esta manera, como está acá arriba. Dos, pero se pronuncia dos y acá don'ts. 
Okay, don't. All right, so here eh, I'm going to ask maybe, let me see who else is online. Eduardo, welcome. Welcome to the jungle. Can you please help me reading these examples of the do? Do here. Okay, uh, do attend all employer provide training on how to recognize, avoid and respond to potentially violent situations. Okay, continue with the next one. Do report perceived treats or acts of violence to your manager or supervisor following any existing policies that may be in place. The last one. Do remain aware of and support co-workers and customers if a threatening or violent situation occurs. Thank you, Eduardo, thank you. So guys, in the first one, Karina, what do you understand for the first one? Can you give me a summary of this explanation? Sorry, the mangoes. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, the, the first is talking about um, the employees give a training. Mm -hmm, a training. Mm -hmm. A training to, to report a situation, a violent situation. Perfect. What oh, about the process? Uh -huh. The process to, to, to make, to do, uh -huh. to report a violent situation. That's in, the okay. Thank you, Karina. What about number two, Edwin? What do you understand for number two? What is the main idea? Don't bear that. Maybe is just done and urgency. Emergencies. And, and with uh, asalto, a mano, asalto, okay. eh, trato de secuestro. In general, uh, it's threats. Cualquier yeah. tipo de riesgo, cualquier tipo de peligro. Uh, threats. Of acts or violence. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Do you consider mm -hmm. that this can happen in, in your companies? ¿Será que esto puede pasar en las empresas? Yes, teacher. Acts of violence. Mm -hmm. Violencia. Mm -hmm. De cualquier yeah. tipo de violencia. No yeah. especifiquemos, pa, pero general. No. Uh -huh. With, with uh, uh, see the company in uh, an assault. Uh -huh. An assault. An assault. Okay. Ya uh, pasado. <laughs> <laughs> oh, inside the company. Wow. Yeah. Interesting. All right. Thank you, Edwin. Let's see, sí. Lourdes. What do you understand for number three? In, and do. Uh huh. And do. Um, what is the main idea for this? Uh, the, do, do report or inform of threats? Threats? Mm -hmm. Threats? Threats? Or, or, or acts of buildings? Okay. Thank you, Lourdes, thank you. Ana Yancy, can you help me reading this don't? Uh, don't, don't not argue with a customer if they may treat or become violent. Is need, needy? Go to a safe area. Ideally, 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 a room that looks from the inside 
has a second exit route and has a phone or ceiling alarm. Thank you, Ana Yancy. Fidel, can you explain in your own words what can, uh, what do you understand about this? Don't? Fidel? No? Dolores? No? Okay. Uh, let's see another participant here. Tessa, are you there? No? Oh my goodness. Only Karina, Edwin, Yancy, and Eduardo, and Lourdes. Okay, Eduardo, can you explain to me in your own words this? Which one? The second one. And uh, don't. Here. I don't. don't. What is the main idea? Let me read. The idea of your brother. Okay, uh, it's telling you that if a customer gets like a, a threat, dangerous, uh, you have to to stay calm. Maybe go as a, a if you need, you have to go a, a safe place that you know in your environment, in your company, mm -hmm. that have an alternative exit. So if the things go not the way you want. <laughs> okay, thank you, thank you, Karina. The last one, can you read it? Okay. Don't attempt to force anyone who appears upset or violence to follow COVID-19 prevention. Police or other police or practice relative to COVID-19. Uh, IG limit number of household or food product. Thank you. This IG is, for example, abbreviation of, for example, okay? Ah, okay. Uh -huh. Okay, thank you. So as you can see here, we have do's and don'ts, okay? Things that are allowed to do in your company, for example, in this case, to prevent violence and things that aren't supposed to be allowed in the in the companies in the workplace all right here we have more examples look edwin can you read the examples please thank you chair uh, do not be late for work do not be absent from work without prior notice no necessary talking in the work area do not leave your workplace during the working time okay thank you so as you can see these are like rules rules this has a relation with the last activity the things that are allowed to do in your companies and the things that aren't allowed to do in your companies it's not allowed it's algo que no está permitido hacer okay Aquí estamos viendo otra forma de cómo usar el not allowed. Okay, it's not allowed. Yo puedo, eh, acá, ¿cómo me quedaría la primera? Aquí está, do not be late for work. Si yo quiero convertir esta oración con el it's not allowed, ¿cómo me quedaría? It's not allowed late for work. Eh, Le falta algo, dos palabritas. Está two. bien. Ajá, tú y two la otra. Late. To be. To be late for work. Ok, ahora leámosla de nuevo completa. Ok. It, it is not allowed to be late for work. Exactly, perfect. That is the way. So what about the number two, Karina? Do not be absent from work without prior notice. Okay, it is not allowed to be absent 
mm -hmm. uh, or without period no, notice. Mm -hmm. Prior, prior notice, okay? Prior notice. Okay, so as you can see, it's basically the same. Estamos hablando de lo mismo, ¿verdad? Pero en diferentes palabras. Privations, okay? So right now we are going to do this activity. Look, we are going to get in groups and please, when I send you to the breakup rooms, please join the rooms. Ya me fijé, ya me eché el rollo, como diríamos a los salvadoreños, que cuando los mando a los breakup rooms, algunos se quedan sin unirse a los salones. Entonces, la idea no es darles un break. Yo sé que se llama break, ¿verdad? Pero no es que se agarren el break, sino que vayamos y pongamos en práctica lo que se acaba de explicar. Ok, así es que les invito a que se unan a los breakup rooms. Esto les va a ayudar para agarrar fluidez y práctica en el idioma. Ok, so you get in groups and you are going to discuss the rules that you have in your workplace. Ok, and then you are going to write a paragraph of six lines, un párrafo de seis líneas about the rules and prohibitions at your workplace. Vamos a hablar de las reglas y las prohibiciones en sus lugares de trabajo. Eh, you have to use it's not allowed. La idea de este ejercicio es que pongamos en práctica el it's not allowed. Okay? Así es que quiero que cuando yo les pida participación que me lean este párrafo, quiero escuchar eh, la frase it is not allowed. Okay? It is not allowed. Yes? Yes? Okay. Yes. yes, teacher. Okay, very good. So we are going to go on this activity right now. And I'm going to give you only like five minutes. Five minutes to finish this activity. Then you are going to come back. Okay, let's join, please. Join, join. In the bar. smoke. To, to follow fire. the 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 uh, to follow the the office the grammatic rules. I I think yeah. is it is not allowed to smoke. Mm -hmm. To a smoke. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The inside smoke inside the office. the office. Uh -huh. Other. Other? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Other in your uh, work? In my case, it, it is not allowed to alcoholic drink or to drink to alcoholic drink. beverage. To drink, to drink. Uh -huh. <laughs> alcohol. Uh, to drink alcoholic beverage. Beverage. Alcoholic, alcoholic beverage. Uh -huh. In my case, it is not allowed 
allowed to, uh, allowed to eat in the office. To eat? To oh eat my God. In, <laughs> in the office. Ah, no. ¿Por, por, ¿Por qué será que Karina dice no, no? <laughs> Yo creo que debajo no de se la... eat. <laughs> <laughs> Hay <laughs> cookies. En eh. <laughs> cereals. Ah, no. <laughs> coffee. En fruit. Coffee, sí. Coffee, sí. <laughs> It is not. Pero no trabaja en una alcaldía de casualidad, porque en las alcaldías es donde se ve cuando uno va a traer las partidas. ¿no? Vamos con el coco. Y con el pancito. O también en las clínicas, en las clínicas. Ahí también. está la secretaria, ¿verdad? Con el café. Un montón de gente y nadie atendiendo. Cabrón. Ellos están tomando café. Ah, permítame que el doctor está ahorita con su break. Cabrón. Entonces sería: It is not allowed to eat is... inside the office. In the, office. in the office. It is not allowed uh, sleeping during. To sleep, sorry. To sleep. Uh -huh. to sleep. <clears throat> yes, sir, you finish. Actually, no. No? Es que estoy tratando, bueno, uh, I'm trying to, to open the workbook, but <laughs> I don't know why I cannot open it. Oh, you're having trouble with your computer. Maybe the program that I used to, to read it, but I don't know why. Uh, I can share with you my screen if you want. Can you take the... Yeah, the screen, okay, let me. Mm -hmm. Look. Yeah. Wait, I'm going to... To put it like this for you to. Here you have it. Okay, thank you. Okay. Your work. Get in person and discuss the rules you both have in your workplace. Your turn. Write a six line paragraph about the rules and. Ah, se está actualizando el programa. Write a six line right about the rules and provide. Eh, the workplace. Esa es otra. Hola. Esa es otra, otra. No, es el mismo. Sí. Estamos en el segundo. It is not allowed to miss without permission to our the workplace o sin el de podemos dejarlo a nuestro to our workplace está bien teacher bueno nos faltan dos líneas todavía no sé Yes, yes. Um, the the other eh, Anayansi. Ajá. Quiero la... ver, di, dijimos eso de faltar a ah, y que eh, ajá que diga que, que ser puntual ajá. Pero allí como tenemos que ocupar el not allowed, por eso pusimos en la primera in my workplace. Ah. Y, not allowed to arrive late. Ah, ok. No permitido llegar tarde. Uh -huh. Solo nos faltaría una que podría ser. Eh, it is not allowed. Eh, it is no, not, not allowed to use telephone. Your cell phone mm -hmm. to use cell phone in work hours. In work hours.
Y pongamos una más. Eh, que no se ha permitido fumar ni beber bebidas alcohólicas. Podríamos poner sí. is not allowed. Is not allowed. Smoking. Smoke. And drink. And drink. Al alcoholic. Bebidas, teacher, is in general. How do beverage. you say beverage? Ah, uh -huh. alcoholics beverage. beverage. Se escribe B grande E V E A G E S. Beverage. Ah, yes, beverage. Alcoholics beverage. You yes, we finished. Okay. Give me a second, we are going to come back. Okay. Let's wait for the other classmates. Okay. Lourdes, you are going to be the number one to read your paragraph, okay? <laughs> okay, teacher. Okay, can we start now, lower this? Yes. Um, in in my workplace, it is not it is not allowed to arrive late. It is not allowed to miss without permission to our workplace uh, it is not allowed to use cell phone in work hours and in my company it is not allowed to smoke and drink alcoholics beverage okay very good thank you the your work is the same as Anna Yancy yes okay. it's the same very good thank you uh, I'm going to choose Dolores from the other group. Dolores, can you read your paragraph, please? Yes. In the working, it is not allowed to smoke inside the office. Mm -hmm. It is not allowed to drink alcoholic beverage. It is not allowed to hit in the office. It is not allowed to sleep in, in working hours. It is not allowed to use cell phones. It is not allowed to be direct factor. Okay, thank you very much, Dolores, thank you. So uh, the other uh, was Nelson. Eduardo, did Nelson work with you? Yes, for sure. Okay. So yeah. Nelson, Nelson, can you please read your paragraph? Okay. Um, it's not allowed to use the cell phone in the middle of a reunion. And it is not allowed to be late and leave without permission. Mm -hmm. Only. Only that. Okay. Thank you, guys. So right now, we are going to do the last activity just to check 
that you have understood correctly the topic. So we are going to create a conversation in pairs, but we are going to continue working with the same groups. If your group has three people, don't worry. You have to uh, create a conversation in which the three participants speak, okay? Uh, you have to pretend that you are the boss and your classmate is your new worker. Give him or give her the do's and the don'ts at work, yes? And you have to specify and give details about that. Is the activity clear? We are going to talk about do's and don'ts at work. Yes? Yes. Are we ready? Yes. Okay, this is the last activity. I'm going to give you like five or six minutes to finish this. Go ahead. Tenemos que, que hacer una conversación siempre parecida a la de not allowed, pero ahora es con do en dos. Yo eso no la entendía. Eh, es como decir eh, qué se puede hacer y qué no se puede hacer. Mm. Ajá. Eh, eh, por ejemplo, si antes decíamos, ah, lo que usted me dijo, que, que no estaba permitido, ah, que usted tenía que llegar eh, puntual al trabajo, entonces ahí tendría que decir, I do, eh, ah, no, pero ahí. No, solo diría, I have to arrive early to work. Ah, pero no podríamos usar el do. Ok, no es que sea como gramaticalmente. Sí, gramaticalmente está correcto. Uh -huh. Como le digo, está dándole la, la, el mayor realce al verbo. ¿Sí? Si yo digo do attend, oh, toda, toda mi atención se va a enfocar en el attend. O sea, que tengo que atender, o sea, o llegar temprano, sí. no sé cuál es el verbo que van a usar. Ajá. Ajá. Porque en las cosas que no pueden ser, usa el don't. ¿Verdad? Don't arrive late. No llegue tarde. Uh -huh. Sí. Ok. También, también pueden mezclar el it's not allowed. Como es una conversation, acuérdense. Uh -huh. Pueden iniciar ahí, ¿verdad? Usando el do y el don't. Pero okay. después pueden usar el it's not allowed. Este do y don't es como un plus. Es algo extra que se les ha dado. Ok. 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 Eh, vaya, entonces Ana y Ansi, podemos comenzar la conversación como, como que nos encontramos. Hello, nice to meet you. To meet you. Meet you. Uh, in this case, we can answer at the same time. Edwin and me. Yes. It's okay. Yes, okay. it's okay. 
Ah, ok. Ok. First, Dolores. You okay. say, hi guys, welcome. Hi guys. Uh -huh. Hi guys. Hi. Welcome. Welcome to Salvador, Hello. to Sevillanos, Villeras, Molinas, Company. <laughs> Sevillano Villeda Villeda Molina Company Company Molinas Company Ok And then Edwin and me say mm -hmm. uh, Hello, nice to meet you Oh, oh hello mm -hmm. Hello. But do you say your name? <laughs> uh, you need to say your name. Um, hi, guys. Welcome to Sevillanas, Villena Molinas Company. My name is, is Dolores. Mm -hmm. Dolores, nice to meet you. <laughs> Lo siento, este, me ha caído una llamada importante. La dejo un momento. Ok. Ok. Ok, then. Me say. Hi. My name is Karina. Karina. Uh -huh. Nice to meet you too. And you ask, and you, uh, you ask to Edwin. Uh -huh. And you, Edwin. Uh -huh. <laughs> Hello, my name is. Lo mismo va a decir, vea. Uh -huh. And you, Mister. And you, Mister. And Edwin say. My name is Edwin. Mm -hmm. Ahí voy and, a and is uh, um, tiene que ser and nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Aparte, tenemos que decir las que la, la de do, la do y, y, y la dance, ¿verdad? Quiero ver. Ajá. Uh -huh. And say de de. And now you say. Okay, guys, I will uh, introduce our rules. Mm -hmm. I, I, I will introduce your, ¿cómo sería? Sorry, ya me confundí. <laughs> okay. Um, I, eh, porque le queremos uh, decir lo que sí puede hacer y lo que no puede hacer, ¿verdad? Ajá. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I will to to bring or rules i will bring i will bring I will bring. bring all rules rules first uh, it because of the time, you can only have a uh, three, three, rules. three things. I have three rules. It's not allowed. It's allowed. It's not allowed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. First, it is not allowed. Did we finish? Almost. We have to use all, uh, uh, always the allowed, right? Yes, allowed or it's not allowed. It's you not can allowed. mention at least two things that are allowed and two things that aren't allowed. Okay. I'm thinking about one that is allowed. <laughs> ya podemos venir, ya podemos llegar con gorra, ¿verdad? <laughs> Sí, ya pude. Ah, bueno, espera. 
am allowed to use to wear no, to wear a hat during a work. You stay on time at work. Ese como que sería. Ese sería como tú debes eh, estar a tiempo en el trabajo. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Ah, o podemos poner como, como you, you, you are, ¿verdad, teacher? You are on time at work. No. Ajá. Okay. ¿Cuál es el contexto que lleva? <risa> que, es que ella, digamos, estamos, somos compañeros de trabajo y ella me está dando la bienvenida y me está diciendo cuáles son como las reglas que hay en el trabajo. Entonces una de ellas es que debo estar a tiempo en mi trabajo. Uh -huh. Y le dijo, you are on time. <risa> como felicidades, llego a tiempo. <risa> No, no, como, eh, como ella me está diciendo las reglas, para entonces ah, yo primero, ajá. ajá, que ella entonces tiene que estar. To be on time, to be on time ah. at work. Mm -hmm. To be. To be on time. Ok. Ah, pues hay que corregirlo, ¿no? Y así, to be on time at work. Y... Eh, y me puede decir como... Eh, it is ah pero como es con el do también verdad uh -huh. eh, puede decirme como do do not dr drink teacher y en, en el caso de, de do siempre tenemos que poner el tú digamos do not do drink o do not drink solo do not drink Ah, ok. Ok, entonces, eh, Nancy, do not drink eh, alcoholic beverage. Ok, we start in one minute. Vamos a empezar en un minuto y adivinen qué. Y en la primera parejita en pasar. <risa> Edwin y Karina. <risa> Oh, Lourdes en Anayansi, tu dinámico. Okay. The best player. Yes, the best couple. One of the best couples. Okay. okay. Anayansi. Hola. Vaya, entonces ese sería do not drink alcoholic beverage. Sí. Ajá. En, do, en, en, y me puede decir como en it is not and it is not allowed I know allowed a smoke Yo. I start. I start. 
Okay. Okay. Good morning, Lourdes. Welcome our company. My name is Ana Yancy. Nice to meet you, Ana Yancy. Um, it's very important that you know the roof in our company. Okay, what is the rules? Uh, first, it, it is not allowed to use cell phone in our, our world. Okay. Second, do not be impunctual. Uh, to be on time at work. Okay. Um, uh, tres, teacher. <laughs> Tercera. Third. 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 Do not drink alcohol beverage. And allow it to a smoking. Smoke. Smoke. Uh, thank you for saying me the rules, and I am see. I try memorize. Okay. <laughs> Only that. Thank sir. you. Very good. Very good job. Very good job. Lourdes is going to memorize the rules, and she's going to tell me the rules in the ten minutes, one on one. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Good job. Good job. Uh, let's see, Karina and, and Edwin, or Dolores, Edwin, uh, Dolores, Edwin, and Karina. Yes, yes teacher. Go ahead. Okay. Hello. Do you have the all? Yes. Yes. Hello, okay. everybody. Welcome to Salvadorian's company, Sevillano Villeda Molina's company. My name is Sarai. Oh, hi, my name is Karina. Nice to meet you too. Nice to meet you too. And this is my coworker, Edwin. Hello, my name is Edwin. Nice to meet you too. Welcome, welcome. I will bring our rules. In the first, it's not allowed to drink alcoholic beverage. It is, it is not allowed to smoke inside the office. In oh. That is okay, but I have a question. Um, it is allowed to eat in the office? Yes, it is allowed to eat inside. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Very good. Very good. Thank you. Good job. Good job. It's not allowed. Thank you. It's not allowed not to participate. Well, it's allowed to participate. Está permitido que participen, okay? Um, let's see, the last couple is Nelson and Eduardo. Nelson and Eduardo. Okay, Nelson Go is gonna start. Okay. Hello, Eduardo. Welcome to the company. Let me tell you the following rules that we are allowed to use the cell phone during working hours. Als is allowed to wear a hat in the office all time. However, it's not allowed to smoke in the building because we don't want any complaint with a coworker. Finally, if you have a car, it's not allowed to speed up inside the parking lot. Oh, thank you. I'm going to remember all these rules. So, and nice to meet you, Nelson. Okay. Nice to meet you. Very good. A lot of 
rules, muchas reglas. Vamos a ver si mañana que les haga un quiz se recuerdan de esas reglas, oigan. A ver si se las memorizaron de verdad o no. Ok, so we are coming to an end. I'm going to pass the attendance list for the last time. Ok, Alfonso. I saw Alfonso online the whole class, but no participation. Anayansi. Anayansi. Present. Thank you, Anayansi. Um, let's see. Claudia, not here. Dolores. Present. Eduardo. Present. Edwin. Present, teacher. Fidel, Fidel, I need you to participate a little bit more. Present. Karina. Present, sorry. Okay. Eh, Lourdes, Lourdes. I'm here, teacher. You stay at the end with me, Lourdes. Don't forget. Yes. And let's see. Nelson is here. Present. Okay. The other people weren't able to be here tonight because they had trouble at work. Some other had trouble with the internet and some other were sick. All right. So thank you. Thank you so much for being here, guys. I really appreciate that you take your time to study. And well, remember that at the end, the benefits are going to be for you. Yes. So thank okay. you so much. I'll see you tomorrow at 8 p.m. Please be punctual and I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good night. Thank you. Have a good, good night. night. Thank, thank you. you. Good, good night. night. Good, good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. 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 Lourdes, did you think about the questions that you have for me tonight? <laughs> only, only one question, teacher. Mm -hmm. I, uh, uh, for me, it's difficult um, apply the the do in 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 the structure uh, mm -hmm. because um, it's not allowed. It is more easy for me, but in in that case, when you use do, for example, do use the cell phone for me is incorrect. Mm -hmm. No, but as I mentioned before, let me share here. As I mentioned before, um, you have to you have you have to uh, let's see. Let's see if I can write here. Uh, you are like, you know, uh, do you do what did you say? Do, do, you do use a use cell phone. The cell phone, okay. Do mm -hmm. use the cell phone. Mm -hmm. Okay. In this case, as I told you, do makes emphasis on the verb. Do mm. makes emphasis. It's like an a strong, order okay strong order yes in that case is correct yes if you want to make emphasis in the verb yes it's correct mm. okay. uh, you can say do a speak english in class i'm saying that it's an order it's an yeah. order it's allowed to speak in english in class and you have to speak english in class i'm making emphasis in the verb, speak. Okay. What What do I need from you? Oh, to speak English. Speak English. Okay. Because okay. I can have a long, a long sentence. For example, do I speak English in class and in, in practice? Okay. What is my emphasis? What am I emphasize on? All right. Do Only speak on English. speaking. Only on speaking, right? That is my yeah. emphasis. Practice. Yes. Practice is well something complementary in this it's case. It's important, but not uh, then speak English. Uh huh. Yes. So uh -huh. for me, for the teacher, it's more important to speak English than practice. Suppose okay. an example. Uh -huh. Yes. So that is the function of the auxiliary do in these cases. 
-hmm. Okay, and when you use do not, is is the same. It's the same. Here, uh, you have this, don't, right? Mm -hmm. And the other is like this, right? Do and not. Do not. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. do not. Mm -hmm. Here, in the first one, it's a contraction. Yes. Don't speak Spanish, right? Don't speak Spanish. And do not, yes, it has a little bit emphasis there. And you want to make it clear. That is the situation. You you want to be clear that the other person understands what you're saying. Okay? okay. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's abbreviation only. Contraction. Okay. In, in that case, don't use to, don't to speak, for example. Uh -huh. You don't use the infinitive. Okay. Do you remember the imperatives? Yes. Uh -huh. So in the imperatives, we give orders, but we don't use a subject and we don't use the to. Mm -hmm. yes. Uh -huh. yes. yes. Only do or don't, for example. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In this case, okay. uh, in this case, do you use the cell phone? This is an imperative. This is an order. But you need yeah. to use do. You need to use do in order to make emphasis on the action. That is the verb. Okay. Mm -hmm. huh? Okay, teacher. Another question? Uh, lower this. Mm. No, lo que me, me costó quizá en su momento es lo de las what clauses, pero ya cuando explicó que es como es decir lo que eh, ya fue para mí más fácil eh, asociarlo a cuando decían, eh, por ejemplo, what, eh, what, what you, can what do, you need, uh -huh. o, o, o what you need eh, is relax. Uh, mm -hmm. Today, uh -huh. or or in in your family, uh, what you you help uh, to activities in home? Mm -hmm. Como en tu familia, lo que necesitas es, es ayudar en el hogar, digamos. O, uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Entonces yo dije, ah, vaya, ahí ya, ya como que me ayudó bastante, pero quizás para mí esos son únicamente uh -huh. como los dos temas que me, me han costado un poco más. Ajá, acá el, el, el do, el los dos y los don'ts los usamos como un complemento, uh -huh. ¿verdad? Como ya les decía en la clase, uh -huh. es un complemento al it's not allowed. Porque o sea, estamos hablando de uh -huh. it's not allowed. ¿Qué se me viene a la mente? Ah, órdenes, órdenes, las cosas que no están permitidas uh -huh. hacer, ¿verdad? Entonces, ah, uh -huh. ajá, vamos a tocar puntos con, los, con el do's y con el don'ts, o sea, lo que está uh -huh. permitido y lo que no está permitido hacer también, ¿verdad? Ajá, y uh -huh. la otra forma del it's not allowed, eh, en lo que sí está permitido sería it's allowed, solo le quitaríamos it's el allowed. not, ajá. Ah, solo ok. Le el not. Ok. Ajá. Ah, okay. Y eh, con el de what closer, sí, a veces es necesario uh -huh. eh, relacionarlo con algo como para que quede más claro. Ahí le puse sí. un ejemplo, mire, what you need is to practice. Lo que necesitas uh -huh. es practicar. Así uh -huh. si es que hay algunas cosas que nosotros tenemos en español que, que en inglés a veces son un poquito más confusas, pero uh -huh. ya si lo asociamos... Ya es. Sí, es más claro. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Ok. Ok. Este, uh -huh. ¿Qué más? Ya, ya completamos los forums. Yo creo que solo usted y, y Karina están completando <risa> los forums. Me fijan. Bueno, ayer no revisé. <risa> ayer no, no, no había actividad en el foro de ayer. Que yo me acuerdo no había. Sí, no la he publicado uh -huh. todavía. Ajá. Ajá, sí. en ese sí, ¿no? Y, la, y me parecía que, que el tema de ayer era lo de it is not allowed, 
Entonces no lo contesté porque yo dije, no, de verdad que voy a contestar mal porque no, no sabía. Entonces uh -huh. mejor no lo contesté, solo tengo el de lunes y martes. Entonces uh -huh. me faltaría el de ayer, el de ahora y el de mañana. Uh -huh. Entonces uh -huh. ahora que tenemos el de it's not allowed, ya lo puede contestar. Sí. Uh -huh. Sí, ahora lo voy a completar. Y el que, creo que el que le va a aparecer ahora es el de Instructions. Safety ah, ok. Instructions. ¿Qué sería el de ayer? ¿Qué sería el de ayer? Ajá. Ok. Sí. Ajá. Okay. Entonces, sí, sería de estar contestando esas tareas y también contestar el, el test que va a aparecer mañana. El mid -term. Ok. Uh -huh. Y sí, ese okay. hay hora de entrega. Eh, no. Creería yo que no, pero lo, lo que se recomienda es que lo hagan antes, ¿verdad? Porque yo todos los sí. sábados estoy pasando reporte de notas. Uh -huh. ah, y esas bueno. notas después las vamos a ver nosotros, ¿sí? Che? Sí, después la, creo que las van a ver. Uh -huh. mm, ok. Sí, uh -huh. sí, igual eso les ayuda bastante para lo del diploma. Uh -huh. Sí, pues sí. Uh -huh. Ok. Ok. So, have a good night then. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Okay. Good night. See you tomorrow. Take care. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.